Um, this is part two, and I'm going to show you how to connect your top piece um, so that you make two separate pieces for your legs. So you just want to count around and how many granny squares that you have. I had 38, so I divided that by two, and it was 19. So I found the 19th granny square from my starting point, and I just um, put them together, the chain spaces, and I'm going to go in with my hook and do a couple um, slip knots and uh, single crochets to connect the two pieces. I ended up doing about um, five single crochets just because uh, for no particular reason, um, it just felt like it was really secure after I did about five. So now I'm going to show you how to start your first leg. Um, so we see here, these are your perfect little leg openings. If you stop the project right now, you'd have a really unique pair of booty shorts, but we're going to make some pants. So what I've done here is I just chose one side to work on and I'm slip stitching or slip, yeah, slip stitching into um, the three double crochet spaces and then into the first chain space and then I'm chaining up three like we have been and I'm doing two double crochets to make the first granny square. So once you've gone all the way around the same way that we have been and you reach the end of this row, you'll see that there's not a chain space to work into. Um, so what we're going to do here to start the next row is chain one. Eventually. And you're going to go into the third chain of your starting chain three, skipping over those two little spaces, and it's going to create kind of a, a bigger whole space right there that you don't notice when you're wearing. But if you wanted to, you could go back later and secure it the same way that we did when we made our crotch area. Um, I haven't done that right now, but I will go back and do that. Um, to start your next row, um, you're going to turn your work and slip stitch into the first chain space which is that little hole area and then chain up three do your two double crochets and then just continue to work around the same way that you have been and you're going to do as many rows as you need to reach to the length of your knee where your knee starts and then i'll show you how to start the bell bottom so once you've crocheted as many rows as you need to reach the top of where your knee is, this is what it should look like. I did 15 rows from where our crotch goes to where the knee goes. So 12 um, from the waist to the crotch and 15 more from the crotch to the knee. And this is going to be our increase round. I had 18 granny squares, so um, you're going to need to take the number of granny squares you have and divide it by two to find out um, which stitches you need to increase in. So you just start this the same by slip stitching into the first stitch and chaining up three. But instead of doing one granny square, you're going to do three. Um, so you're going to chain up three, do two double crochets, um, and chain one. And then you're going to do a second granny square, chain one, and a third granny square, chain one. 
So in this first stitch, you're going to have a total of three granny squares and two chain one spaces. And that's how we chose to increase. If you wanted a less like dramatic belt bottom, um, you could do like two. Or if you wanted to be even more dramatic, you could do more than that. I haven't tried it, but I tried to. I didn't like it, so I went back and did three, and I was really pleased with how it came out. This is where you need to know how many granny square spaces that you have. Like I said, I had 18, so um, when you divide that by 2, it's 9. So counting the first um, chain space where we did 3 as 1, um, I'm just going to do 8 more uh, granny squares into the next 8 spaces. Um, when I reach the next half point, that's where I'm going to do my next increase. So it just depends on where your half point is. And like I said, this is another, uh, this is a good time to let you know that if you um, have an uneven number of granny squares, it's totally okay. <clears throat> just use your judgment on where you want to place your increases at. Um, no one's really going to notice but you. So um, it's just up to preference and judgment. So here I am just counting over, making sure um, how many I have, and I'm going to continue crocheting over until I reach my next halfway point. So this is my next, this is my halfway point. So this is where I'm going to do my next increase. Um, and to repeat that, that is three um, double crochets, chain one, three more double crochets, chain one, and then another three double crochets. And after you've done that increase, just crochet around till you reach the end of the row, and then we'll all show you how to start the next row. So here you're going to just um, end this the same way that we have been by going into that third chain of the starting chain three with a slip stitch turning your work and slip stitching into the first chain space. Then you do your starting chain three and your two double crochets. Chain one, skip the bottom granny square and then continue around until you reach that um, increase that we did on the last round. And then here you're going to just treat it like you would any other row and then just crochet into the chain spaces. Um, I'm not a person that really like makes a habit of using stitch markers like I should. Um, I know a lot of you do and I need to get better at that. So um, if you wanted to in the last row, you could have put stitch markers into those chain spaces so that you didn't miss them. But um, just to refresh you, there are just two chain spaces to work into. going to continue all the way around the same way that we have been and then do as many rows of this um, as you need to reach your ankle. There's no more increasing so just continue that way. This is what it's going to look like when you're all done with your leg and for the sake of getting this tutorial out faster I've just done the one leg for you. Um, so this is what it looks like. I really 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 like it so um, as far as like the increase goes, you know, just play with it. It all depends on your yarn. To end it, you're going to make your um, drawstring. To make the drawstring, you're going to do the same thing we did in the beginning with the chain by uh, tripling up your yarn and chaining as many as you need for your drawstring. So when I did my waist 
um, chain, I did 114 chains. So for my drawstring, I ended up doing 200 chains with this, like, uh, tripled up bulky yarn that we did before. Here I'm just taking that little bit of excess yarn from the beginning of our project at the top of our waistband and instead of using a tapestry needle to weave it in, um, sometimes I just like to do this where I just take my crochet hook and I, I work it in with slip stitches as far as I can go and then I just tuck it in. And here's where we're going to take our drawstring. Um, for your drawstring, you could also add, like, um, embellishments, like beads or something to it. I didn't have any beads with big enough holes for how bulky the yarn was, so I didn't do it this time. But that's definitely something that you could do to personalize it. You could also use a different colored yarn. Um, and anything to just really put your own personal touch onto it. So we're just... Um, weaving it into that first row just over under the granny squares all the way around and it's really simple and quick to do that's my cat foul and these are what the almost finished product looks like after you've added your drawstring to your waistband um i really love how they came out i love the bell bottom and I think they're so comfortable to wear and completely customizable. You could do a different colored drawstring. You could add a different color edging to the bottom of the pant, anything you'd like. This is a pair I did before that I tried to do a high waist on that didn't really hold up well because I stepped on the leg and stretched it out. Um, but I did it in Mandala yarn, um, the color Warlock. And they're really popular and I just love them so but now they're just pretty to look at because they just fit me super weird now. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be adding new videos every Wednesday night. I hope you enjoy it.